वेलकम टू सेवेंथ ऑफ जून स्कूल ड्रेसिंग सुप्रीम फादर सेज मे यू बी अ राज ऋषि हु इजली एंड कॉन्स्टेंटली स्टेज डिस्टेंट फ्रॉम ऑल द अट्रैक्शंस ऑफ ओल्ड बॉडी एंड द ओल्ड वर्ल्ड सो वी कैन ओनली बी अ राज ऋषि दैट मीन्स आई एम अ राजा आई एम अ किंग हु हैज़ गॉट कंट्रोल ओवर माई फाइव सेंसेज एंड हु हैज़ ऑल्सो गॉट कंट्रोल ओवर माई माइंड इंटेलेक्ट एंड हैबिट्स ओनली देन कैन आई बी कॉल्ड अ राज ऋषि एंड दैट इज ओनली पॉसिबल when the attractions of the old body and the old world is reducing a rajrishi means one who on the one hand has intoxication of a right to all attainments that i don't want any physical attainments i am moving from physical attainments to non physical attainments which i can achieve only from godfather that is one move and on the other hand has spiritual intoxication of having unlimited disinterest spiritually i am getting detached from worldly expectations worldly wants and desires so it is an intoxication of that because we get lighter in our mind intellect and we move towards the supreme light so there is an intoxication of that also at the present time you have to continue to increase the practice of both these things one is what intoxication of the attainments which we receive from father and intoxication of having unlimited disinterest at the present time you have to continue to increase the practice of both these things this interest does not mean to move away from relations from friends from finances from physical good health from comforts no it doesn't mean that but while having all attainments physical non physical do not let any limited attractions attract your mind or intellect now god is talking about limited attractions are the worldly attractions which are limited which are there today may not be there tomorrow a uh, good today may not be good tomorrow and even relationships might be good today may not be good tomorrow there are also limited attractions someone might be there in your life someone might not be there someone might be healthy someone might not be healthy tomorrow so do not let any limited attractions attract your mind or intellect this is for our own good let there not be the slightest dependency even in your thoughts now that can be checked when those things are taken away or those things go bad or something happens to either relations finances health or something what happens to our mind or intellect does it get pulled towards it if it's getting pulled that means we have to increase our tapasya we have to have more unlimited disinterest we have to increase that and we have to meditate more on the supreme creator it's just that tweaking is required let there not be the slightest dependency dependency even in your thoughts this is known as being a raj rishi that is one who has unlimited disinterest it means being one who is constantly and easily distant away from all the attractions of the old bodies so the definition of rajrishi is what it means being one who is constantly and easily distant away from all the attractions of old bodies our physical body physical bodily needs we are distant from that from the desires of the physical body comforts of the physical old body we are not too focused on that we just taking care of it so one is old bodies the physical old world we are not attracted to the physical old world gross feelings mine yours or if somebody is gaining something jealousy if somebody has lost something you become happy these are gross feelings which we maybe generally speak about when we are not in a spiritual conversations what somebody got what somebody lost what i got what i lost so these are gross feelings or somebody got more than you you know you're not happy you're not content that is also gross feelings and desires for material comforts rajrishis away from all these things om shanti